In this video, we're going to go from this back to this and then to this using this. Okay, so I put up this gate several months ago and actually posted a video about it. Then one of my viewers sent me a message saying, hey, you might want to take that video down because that one's not to be used at the top of the stairs. Well, immediately I did what anybody would do and be like, no, it's supposed to be used that way. And then I started looking at the warning label that he told me about. And guess what? So yeah, right here on the sticker it says not to be used at the top of the stairs, only at the bottom of the stairs or through a pass-through. So I'm going to take this down and I'll put it in a pass-through hallway because we need one to keep kiddos out of the kitchen anyway. And install this one right here, which this one is designed to be at the top of the stairs. Not 100% sure what it is about the design that makes it specifically for top of the stairs, but uh, this one definitely does not have it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this one and install the other one. Uh, to, to remove it, it's quite easy. Just uh, loosen these up. Okay, now time for unboxing. Let's see what's in here. All right, take a look at the hardware in here. Okay, so first it tells me to attach this base foot to the gate. Basically a little support for when it's hinged out. And I suppose I gotta decide which way I want it to the gate to open. Okay, so it says to attach that piece right here. Okay, there's a hole right here. And this right here lines up with that for this screw right here to go into. For now, I'm going to just pull it all the way up. Okay, next, use the template, place the brackets inside of it. The template is clearly marked floor, top, and the brackets are also marked right here, top, top, and bottom. So there's two tops depending on if you have baseboards or not to allow for the difference of the baseboard. So that's a nice little feature there. That way you don't have to cut away your baseboard. Um, I do not have a baseboard where this is going, so I should just need the two shorter ones and that'll put it on the same axis. So I will insert the bottom one into floor. It's like so. It actually has a little 
got a nice little lock in it there too that locks it in. And then the top. Place the top in. And then it's recommended to pre-drill the hole with a 332nd drill bit. So basically you just take that template and center it up and drill the holes. Okay, determine the way that you want it to swing and now to determine which side that this goes on. Alright, so I'm going to use some tape to hold it in place. Make sure the top is at the top and under the bottom. Tape it up, get it centered. Tape it up. And of course use that 332nd drill bit to pre-drill. Okay, make sure it's straight before we go ahead and get the second hole in. Okay, I'm going to finish this one up down here. Okay, next it says to put the plastic covers on it. There we go. And the bottom one again is shorter than the top one. The top one's the longer one. There we go. Next we'll be putting these two grommets on the gate. Like so. So, now we can place the gate on. Okay, I went ahead and took this cap back off so I can see what's going on right here. Uh, so I can see this and line it up okay. So, put that in. Line up the bottom and top. Like so. And now I'm going to go and put that cap back on. There we go. Okay, next, loosen all four of these. There's one, one down here, one up here, then one on the other side, top, and one on the other side of the bottom. Uh, they're pretty tight, so you might need a screwdriver or something to loosen those to get them free. Then what you do, you slide this up against the wall and clamp them down. Mark where each one of these hits the wall at, and then you will place these right there where they are at. Um, this is actually the bottom one here, and you'll want to, when you set it up, drill it so that peg is right in the center of that, so it locks in good on the bottom, and then the top, it doesn't really matter on the way it does. Now, there's two different top assemblies here. This is the one for the baseboard. Remember if it's if you have a baseboard down at the bottom it pushes it out a little bit so you'll need this one. In my case I do not so that'll be set aside and so now I just need to mark these and then line these up and pre-drill them and screw them in.
Okay, and put this top one up here, line it up with these marks, get it as level as possible. There we go. So you may have to go back and readjust this just a little bit. Once you get it all where you want it, tighten it down, you're good to go. So there's the gate installed. Seems to work well. And now I've worried about my granddaughter falling down the stairs. So, yeah, the waist design, you should have to lift up on it just slightly to get that bottom piece off. So there we go. Now I have a gate approved for top of the stairs instead of that other gate. Next up, I gotta do a little sanding and painting. Time to fix some trim in here. All right, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching. Stupid gravity.